Hello, I'm Reese. Welcome back to Final Fantasy IX. Um, after brief consideration and consultation with the committee, which consists of my cat spot, um, I have decided to not go after the cactar off screen. I'm going to do it here, maybe. And if it doesn't work, then I'm just going to move on to Black Knight Village and live with the consequences of not having had that. Regardless, I am uh, astounded and grateful that you've decided to watch this video. If there's no one hearing this, uh, then you are the real ones. Or real one, I don't know. Not that type of doctor. Not yet, at least. Got him. Eevee is going to need an ether. Bug killer and poison. Okay. Remember that. Bug killer poison. Eevee needs an ether. Okay, Mithril Armlet's done, but I don't have anything better. Poison. Poison? Poison. Sorry. You know, when I was in high school, I wanted to be in a garage punk rock band. Would you like to know where that dream went? It went nowhere. did not end up in a garage punk rock band. Okay, so my goal here, it's got 1900 HP. My goal here is when it pops up, I want to immediately hit it with Fyra and then a hit with Zidane. I think that'll get it there. And then we eat, hopefully before it goes Fuck. A little bit too much. Too much Dijon on that one. That spicy mustard just pushed things a little too far. Dagger has learned confusion. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna try one more thing here. Um. That is. I'm gonna try one more thing. It's gonna reduce or put a weapon with a little bit less attack power on. Try the same thing but with less failure. Just not kill the capture out, right? Then eat it. Now I'm sad because I'm out of coffee. Ah, you missed. I'm really enjoying the um, higher quality models in this version of the game. Like, I can see a lot of detail and stuff that I could never see before in versions of the game that I played. I like that, I think that's neat. There's something really cool about um, re-experiencing something that's uh, familiar to you and that you love, um, like nostalgia, farming, um, but like finding new things about it, it's cool. Um, like, I, you know, I guess it's, it's weird to find out that you don't know everything about an IP that you love, or a game you love, or a book, movie, whatever, but, um, I don't know, like, the, the tough thing about those things is you, you never get to re-experience them for the first time. So, um, 
Uh, learning something new about this game is pretty neat in my book. Take off High Tide. It's not actually useful right now. Ability up. Somniac Loudmouth. What do I want to do? MP plus 10, I guess. Why not? Okay. I'm going to try to, as many times as possible in this game, avoid just, um grinding some levels out and stuff, but there'll probably be a couple, a couple points in the game where it's necessary. If I do decide to do anything like that, um, like, late third disc, I'll probably do it off-screen, or at least, like, passively record and then put together only the, in the bits where anything significant happened, or anything funny. No, it's fine. Which definitely means I need to get better at video editing, because I have no idea what I'm doing in that arena. That's just the natural order. I think that's kind of how it's supposed to go though, right? Like, I think most people who do YouTube stuff, like their very early videos are very rudimentary and then they learn little bits and pieces as they go along. Maybe that will be my experience. Or maybe this will be the only Let's Play I ever do. Who knows? I, I want to at least finish this one though. Like, one of my big things in life is, right now in life, is um, trying to succeed in things that I've failed in the past. And I, I'm not great at uh, uh, completing tasks or following following through on things all the way to the end. I've started trying to do Let's Plays several times in the past, and then I just stop. Um, and I want this one to not be that. Now I can put on the Oak Staff, which has Bio, which is great for a boss fight coming up, I think. What other... Oh. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Or with this game right now. Uh, body temp. Cool. That's neat. Uh, what else is this drag? Uh, I'm doing this. Sweet. Um, then, you know, I learned something. Don't remember what it was. Loudmouth, I guess. Probably. Counter and dagger. Okay, I think it was a lot that she Give it another few minutes here of looking for a cat chart. Doesn't work out. Go to Black Mage Village. <laughs> um so like I don't know, following through on things that I didn't before. Uh, big thing those is, I don't know, like projects that I started but never followed through on, or um, <laughs> the weapon loading in the air cracks me up. Um, you know, taking care of some financial stuff in my life. I've got like some, some medical bills that I never really took care of all the way. I mean, I As hilarious and ridiculous as it may sound, um, doing stuff with video games too feels like an accomplishment sometimes. I play um, old school RuneScape uh, in large part because it's nostalgic and you know, I played it when I was a kid back in like 2003, 2004, um, up until like Evolution of Combat, which was, what, like 2012 or something. Um, but I was not great at it. Like, uh, for those of you familiar with the content, I could not do fight caves. Um, I had to have a, uh, I had to have help in an unspecified form. Um, and uh, it, not that it was something that haunted me, but it's like 
you know, like I, I felt like I could have been able to do it. I should have been able to do it. So um, some of my friends, my childhood friends who I played the game with back in the day, started playing it again. Um, so I picked it up. Um, and like one of my first things to do is like, I want to see if I can do Fight Cave on my own and like master the thing that I was never able to do back in the day. And I did it and it felt great because I was like, hey, 12 year old me. <laughs> You, you did it, you overcame this challenge. Um, and then I even went on to uh, be able to do Inferno, which uh, honestly felt like kind of unreal because again, if you're familiar with the content, Inferno is ridiculously difficult and it took me months and probably a couple hundred attempts to get it through it. Um, but then like the, the feeling of accomplishment having done it, you know, it's like, Overcoming an obstacle, re regardless of what kind of obstacle it is, is always a good feeling. And sometimes it's what you need. Uh, here we go. Okay, this will be our last cactuar to try. Um, you know, if, if you're ever trying to, like, overcome an obstacle to do something, never feel like it's frivolous or, like, you know, you're like it's not significant that you're overcoming it. If you're overcoming something, it's like, that's you trying to succeed in something better yourself or um, reward yourself. You know, it's, it's not never, it's not going to be a bad thing. Challenge yourself, try things that are difficult. Don't let anybody tell you that they're wrong. Yes! Work! And then it does it. It goes anyway. What a jerk. I also play World of Warcraft, but I'm on a little bit of a break right now in between raid tiers. Which I feel weird about. Like, I haven't logged on in probably two weeks, and I haven't seen the people from it, and a large part of the reason that I play is, uh, the people on it, not necessarily the game, per se. I mean, I like the game, I like, I like raiding, I like eating bosses and stuff. Ooh, here we go. This is gonna be a ladybug? Yeah. Friendly Ladybug. And I think Ladybug sends us to Yeti, but Yeti is over by Clara, which we can't get back to yet. This will give us a lot of ability points. Honestly, I could probably better serve myself by doing this later when I have more abilities that need to be learned, but... I'm just gonna do it now, because why not? I want more! Um, the people that I play WoW with got me through lockdown during COVID and everything, so it's like... That, that makes you want to stay with people. Tell Yeti I say hello. Yeah. So the next friendly monster that I would get is Yeti. Ooh, look at all that! Okay, maybe it wasn't a bad time to do it. Um, which is nowhere near where we are right now. Exploda. Crap. I should have had that on. Rip. It's fine. I'll get plenty of ability power from the... Or ability points from the things coming up. I mean... Everyone's basically decked out now. Right? Yeah. Except for Zidane. BB is almost done with that now. Hmm. Crazy. Oh, there's a an ability. Berry earrings. Nice. Okay, well. Um I've basically completed all of the abilities for these people, with the exception of Zidane's active abilities on his weapons, but that's fine. 
think they live so deep in the forest that the owls don't even live there. So, follow the black mage for the first one. And then... Shit. Oh my god, I'm dumb. Uh, so you go the direction that has no owls. <clears throat> so that hint was given to us, uh, back in the video. I think the ability that these things give I already have. I think I have right, white wind, right? Do I? Do I think that's what go? Uh, yes. Okay, not gonna bother. Let me kill it. Oop. Yeah, it didn't hurt too bad. This guy's a big nothing burger. Big old nothing burger. So I think I just closed like a massive power gap with learning those abilities and leveling up here. Like, I was severely underpowered for some of the stuff coming up. But now I am not. It's kind of underpowered. So if the owl flies away, that means you went the correct direction. And no owls should be to the yeah, to the right. And this is the last one, I think. It was an illusion. There's stuff in the forest. Crap. Hmm. I love the song here. So whimsical and goofy. Ah! <laughs> Humans! Run! <gasps> Humans run! Wait. <clears throat> Did you see them? Yeah. They were talking. There are others like me. Hmm. Why would anyone build a village in the middle of a dying forest? Beats me. Where's Vivi? He went that way, but uh. Hey. A village. Village always have good food. I go fine. Jeez. Oh boy. Lots of uh, active time events. The humans are here! Evie! What's going on? Yeah, it's a little strange, huh? Um, all of a sudden, we're in a village full of mages that uh, talk and have autonomy. Black mage number 239. Uh, um, can I help you? After um, a full game of these things just being mindless drones, now they're uh, talking. The Dan was kind of right in his whole... Um, their people treat them like people thing. Am I the only person that uh, when playing a video game you like go to a shop and look at what they have and then you don't buy anything feel kind of guilty for not like not giving them any business? Different language. Is he the one who came here with that group of humans? He's alright. Look into his eyes. He's aware just like us. 
Thanks. Um, what are you all doing here? We escaped together from Alexandria and the cargo ships. This far? That's right. We wanted to live in a world where there were no humans. To find that, we had to cross the ocean. I see. So, um, what's this? This is, uh, uh, what's, what's the word? It's a cemetery. Right, a cemetery. A cemetery? So, underneath the ground? Yes, our friends are buried under here. But why? That's because I, I came here with M Mr. 36. We escaped together. We had so many things to learn. It was really scary at first, but we helped each other. But then one day Mr. 36 stopped moving. He just stopped. He wouldn't move or say anything. My friend who knows lots of things told me that that's what death was, and we had to bury him. Mr. 36 is buried under the ground now, but I don't understand why. He's going to come out again one day, right? When he does, I'm going to wash him off in the pond. What's he talking about? Is it a disease, or was he hurt? Tell me why. It's because... Getting into some uh, heavy, complicated subjects here. Or VV is um, discovering that, matter of fact, life and death exists, even for black paintings. There's a thing you can do with this, like you could bring a special item here and it'll play uh, old songs from old Final Fantasies, I think. Um, welcome. Can't can we sell you something. Oh yes, high potions at last. I don't want to go too crazy with them. They have limited money and I need to synthesize things. I don't know if there's still things I can synthesize for me. I don't know what they would yell. Why you run away? I not do anything. What you hiding? Ooh. His aroma is delicious aroma. Oh, Queena. This should be the synth shop. Oh, it's a name. What's up, Dagger? I was telling them why we are here. Why are we here? It's a Dane. This is a joke. Jeez, don't get mad. I totally know what we're doing here. I've been following the plot the whole time. Can't you see I'm trying to make them understand? What is a joke? Is it scary? Something. It's something funny, right, Dagger? You don't seem so bad. Because you're here to fight the bad guys. That's right. You're unbelievable, you know that? Hey, where's Vivi? I don't know where he went. That worries me. I'm going to look for him. Hey, hey Dagger! Again. Love that everyone just runs away from him constantly. If cycle. Aha! I know you hide food. Get out! This egg is ours. Is chocobo egg. Chocobe chocobo egg super delicious. We share and eat it. We're not gonna eat it. A chocobo mother left it for us before she stopped moving. Th that's right, we're gonna raise her here. You crazy. You never raised any animal before. Sh shut up, we can so do it. I not believe you. You it, I, uh, I missed part of that, whatever. Um, it's kind of like adorable, but also sad that the black mages uh, are calling death, stopping moving. Like they, they kind of don't don't get it, or maybe like willfully refuse to understand the concept of death, or maybe it's. Uh, some of the wiser black mages, wiser, I don't know, more knowledgeable black mages, um, not calling it death so as to not panic. Oh, other, oh my gosh, come on. Other black mages. Oh, Rune Tooth. I forgot this weapon exists. Oh, I have no more 
I throw daggers. I need. I don't think I actually need a dagger. The way that making Zidane's weapons works is you like. So you get a dagger, then you get the Mage Masher. So the next, uh, the first, um, the first dual bladed weapon is two daggers. Then the second one is dagger mage masher and then the third one is two mage mashers and it just keeps going up like that so the next one would be mithril dagger mage masher artist rod oh Romulus tiara and multi-team racket can I, where do i get another Romulus tiara i can't get the ink yet i can't get the extension right now i could if i unequip those from dagger but i don't know where i would get another tiara Kind of useful right now. It's lucky seven. That's annoying, so I need to use the Gladius to learn annoy. Back. Yep. Put a diamond on here. That's everything. I'm uh, gonna go see if I can buy a couple of those things from the shop over here. I can, can I not get a multi interact right here? Ooh, I can get a Lamia's Tiara. Where can I get another multi interact? Right Why is it not here? Uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll find one somewhere. I'm going to use the one. Wait. Yeah. I'm going to use the one that Dagger has to make the. What is it? The extension? And then, um, go from there. Aww. Hey, Vivi. What's up with him? Well, he's finding out some heavy shit right now. Hey, how come all you guys can talk? We became aware one day, each under different circumstances. Became aware? How? Do you remember being born? No, not really. It was the same with me. I just woke up one day. There was a human body lying next to me. His body was covered in blood. It scared me. I didn't know what it meant. I ran as fast as I could. When I looked around, I was far away from the front line. There were many others like me. We decided to escape together. We heard about this village after, roaming around for a while. That's how I ended up here. Let's see. I wonder what it's like down there. Is it warm or cold? Yeah, this this whole um this whole bit just kills me where like um they they don't really understand life and death. They also though like hit on the subject of like consciousness and um, autonomy and agency, like they they just all of a sudden they were aware. I'm like, I don't know. I I'm pretty sure that it's not actually possible to retain memories of your birth, but like people claim to. Um, but you know, like by and large, you don't remember things from early childhood. But at some point, you just become you know a, a person with memories that carry forward that don't go away and today you want to eat too chocolate egg very delicious we're never going to give it to you um you you're able to like process things and think consciously but like it's not like a you snap your fingers and you're awake thing you know it, very interesting I have a favor to ask, Kapo. Can you deliver a letter to Moochie? Thanks, Kapo. I need to save yes. Oh no, I've got time. I've got plenty of time. Got all kinds of time. Uh, one of my favorite games that hits that subject is uh, Soma. Maybe I'll play it sometime and talk about it. Vivi? What's wrong? Huh? Oh, Zidane, it's 
It's nothing. Did something bad happen? Black mages, all the black mages seem pretty nice. But nothing happened. Grr, I hungry. This village people eat terrible food. Oh, Vivi, you're back. Where were you? You look very... You got tired, right, Vivi? Yeah. <laughs> I don't blame you. We've been walking around non-stop. We should call it a day. This is a part of the game that I like very much, by the way. I go to forest and look for food. What about you, Zidane? Yeah, let's rest. Call it a day. I like this interaction between Zidane and Dagger. It, he, like... He starts out kind of douchey, but with, like, you know, decent parts about him. Like, the whole, like, hey, let's treat the black mages like humans, but he slowly becomes more and more of a relatable character. Today, Vivi just walked out. Maybe he's letting us have a little romantic quiet time. I'm serious. I wouldn't worry too much. But he's trying to figure something out for himself. Think about it. He's never met black mages like himself before. Okay there, bud. What if they're being mean to him or saying nasty things? Do you really think the people of this village gathered to do something like that? Maybe. Just maybe he'll find what he's looking for. Find what? A place to call home. Home? Yeah. A place where he belongs. Hey Zidane, when you said home, what's the matter? You can't fall asleep? How about a bedtime story? Let's see. Once upon a time, there you go again, teasing me. Once upon a time, there was a man. It was a man who didn't know where he came from. Zidane. See if you can figure out who this is about. This man had longed to find his birthplace ever since he was a small child. His birthplace. A place he only remembered in his dreams. Why? He wanted to know more about himself, maybe. About his parents, the house where he was born. One day, the man left home, the home of his adoptive father and went on a quest to find the answer. His only clue was the blue light he saw in his dreams. A blue light? Remember that. Yeah, he thought it might be a memory of his birthplace. An ocean, maybe? Did he find it? Hey. We're jumping ahead. A lot of things happen along the way. Alright, we can skip ahead. No, he never found it. How could he? His only clue is a colored light. So he went back to the home of his adopted father. What do you think his father did when he came home? Welcome him home? No way. His father raised his fist and beat the sun he had worked so hard to raise. Why? I don't know. I don't agree with this part of it. But you know what surprised him even more? The father smiled after beating up his son. Let's ignore the physical abuse part of this. Can you believe that? He just gave his son a beating. But this is what the man thought when he saw his father smile. This is my home. This is the place I call home. Ignoring the physical abuse part. Yeah. Otherwise it feels more like Stockholm Syndrome. The man is still looking for his birthplace, but he already has a home. Maybe. Maybe it's the same for Vivi. He's looking for a place to call home. I wonder if Vivi will stay in this village. Who knows? That's for him to decide. 
uh, A Place to Call Home is uh, one of the translations of the title theme of this game, by the way. Um, the other one is, I think it's like The Place I'll Return to Someday. Hello, nice to see you again. Um, I wanted to ask you something. What is it? I was wondering how many people have stopped moving. You're very kind to use our words, but you already know what it means to live and to die. You're asking about our friends who have died, not stopped. Um, seven of our friends stopped functioning recently. I think our lifespan is limited. I've suspected this ever since the first one came to a stop. It varies a little, but most of us stop moving one year after production. No. I haven't told anyone else about this. If I did, they'd feel the same way I do. What do you feel? I don't know. Fear? I don't want to stop. And maybe I want to run away from it all. But living in the village with everyone fills me with joy. The joy of living with them far outweighs the fear of death. Isn't it the same for you? Traveling with your friends gives your life meaning. I... And that really pulls at my heartstrings, like... I, I, I've i struggled a lot in my life with um, depression and anxiety, and um, I used to have like really bad anxiety attacks or panic attacks. Uh, about kind of what he's talking about, like the, I don't know if it's like the fear of death or more like the inevitability of it. Like the inevitability of it is almost the more terrifying part to me that like no matter, no matter what I do, I can't get away from it. Um, there's that Muse song, Time is Running Out, like the, you can't push it underground, you can't stop it screaming out. Um, and I, I had times where I'd freak out and I would like literally run as if I was like trying to get away from that feeling or the fear or, you know, even get away from death. I don't know. But um, it's very relatable to me to to see or hear or think about other people feeling that way. Cause I think it's probably one of the most common fears, right? Like that's survival instinct. We want to stay alive. Um, but then the depression piece of it has always made that challenging. And, um, you know, I've, I've had times where I've been in much darker places. And um, I had times where I feel like the biggest thing that kept me moving was fear of dying. Because um, as long as the fear of dying outweighed um, my, my lack of will to keep going, I was able to keep going, um, but that that's negative reinforcement, right? And I, negative reinforcement is generally less effective than positive reinforcement. And that's kind of what he's talking about here is he experiences this joy of uh, living with his friends and um, bringing them together in the community like that keeps him grounded. And that's important. Like that's that's really important for anyone who's struggling with it. I mean, it ties into the theme of this game, kind of, like, beyond the musical theme, this game is very much about, like, belonging and finding home and, um, you know, choosing who to be with, like, making that choice of, you know, somebody, sometimes people, like, uh, sarcastically or not, call friends, like, their chosen family, but that's kind of what this is about, like, finding and choosing that place that that's that's your home where you feel welcome where you feel belong the thing that makes you want to keep going and that's hard for some people um, there's a lot of people out there probably way too many that um don't feel that belonging they they lack the thing that keeps them holding on to this world and their life here um and it's scary to think about because I've been there, but also because it it's a, a silent thing, you know, it, it affects people behind closed doors, and I think people got more comfortable talking about mental health during COVID, but it's still something that a lot of people aren't comfortable talking about. Um, 
but I'm of the belief that one of the best ways to combat it is to talk about it. So I might be like heavy on talking about that stuff, but it's because it's super important. Um, you know, if if you're in a dark place, sometimes the most important that th thing that there is is finding at least one thing to hold on to, to bring you into the next day, to, um, you know, get you through because who knows what that next day will bring, you know? Um, if you make it till tomorrow, there's a non-zero chance that things will get better tomorrow. If you don't make it to tomorrow, like, that's the end of those possibilities. You always gotta hold on. Um, and uh, that's something that I'm passionate about. Um, if, if you are in a a dark place um you know make sure you use the resources use the uh the mental health um hotline or you know um any one of those uh free hotlines they even have free chat rooms now or not chat rooms like free chat services i know a lot of people have anxiety around phone calls i do too um you know use one of those chat services and talk to someone um even if it's only to carry you on for a, a little bit longer um, don't say silent say something to somebody um, advocate for yourself and hold on because again like there's always a chance that tomorrow is going to be different today than today but you're only going to find out if you make it to um, and if you know if anyone can be helped by that spread the message because you know even if it helps one person that makes it for what it's worth really so i'm transitioning back into the game now very awkwardly yeah i think that's what you're looking for thank you what's up dagger today and someone saw a silver dragon in the northwest part of this continent People of Kandi Petty said that there's a place called the Sanctuary where the entrance is restricted. I think this Kuja said something about a secret being hidden on this continent. Hmm, secret. You heard him say that? Yeah, something about the source of the, source of the mist and a beach that, that makes you old. I think it was because I went to the beach that makes you old. Maybe we would find out more if we go there. Maybe, and maybe save my mother. Right. Oh, where's Vivi? Mm hmm. If Vivi says he's staying behind... Wait for me! Vivi? Everyone in the village asked me to see the outside world and tell them about it. Let's see. Oh man, I thought Dagger and I were going to spend some quality time together. What you say? You know can leave me here. I starve. Oh yeah, I forgot about you. Let's go, everyone. The Kandi Pity and the Sanctuary that Lies Beyond. I'm not great at uh, segues, so I'm definitely prone to segueing from a heavy topic into uh, random weirdness from Final Fantasy IX. I mean all of it, though. Sincerely, I think that stuff is important. I think Dagger still has a long Tiara. Yep. yep. Then I need to get a multi in our racket. Um, I think I can maybe buy it in County Petty. Maybe. Cura, that's important. Okay, I'm gonna go for that. Um. I'm gonna put the magic arm right on him. That's very good. New abilities down. Yeah. I don't know why, but I keep thinking of the, uh, Michael Scott, like, happy surprise face. You know the one. Very, very popular meme image. I'm gonna try and remember to uh, link some of the the helplines in this video to uh, 
uh, to make sure that resource is available to people. And also cats. Cats are adorable. Cat. He's very adorable. His name is Spot. Sometimes he's a jerk. That's just cat life, I feel like. Cats are like 50% adorable, cuddly friends, and 50% murder machine. I spent a lot of time thinking of how to, um, like, put a lip on every single surface in my apartment that he can't knock stuff off uh, tables and stuff anymore. Might not be uh, something that's worth the effort, but I'm thinking about it because I'm really tired of things getting knocked over. And I know that he just does it for attention. Because he only does it like if I'm lying in bed and not asleep yet. And then as soon as I give him attention, he's like, oh no, I'm fine. I'm not, I'm not doing anything weird. What are you doing? I did not get as much done. Well, it's not over yet, but I did not get as much done in this episode as I wanted to. But Hopefully for good cause. I'd probably turn off auto potion until I get to the ogre. I'm wasting a lot of potions on hits for 77 damage. Neither one? Okay, that's cool. I don't want them to die anyway. Live with my life the way that it is. Andara. I think I'm getting somewhat close to the level 3 spells, like Thundaga, Blizzaga, Fireaga. Why is this fourth hitting so low now? Am I forgetting some sort of weird mechanic here? Probably. Mist. Mist. Maybe I'll kill him. One thing I've been really into lately is, um, what do people call it? Battle stations? Like, uh, seeing pictures of people's desk computer setup and that sort of thing. It's really interesting how um, how diverse of setups people get. Like everyone's got their, their things that they want. Some people want huge amounts of screen real estate. Other people want just like one screen simple. So the sanctuary is on the other side of that village. But the exit leading there from the upper floor is guarded by a dwarf who won't let us through. Twin Dwarfies block the way out from shop on right side. No can get through. Hmm. Well, let's just try to go as far as we can. Gonna have to do some sort of ceremony. Can buy a Multina racket here. Yes, beautiful. Okay. Well, I think we got everything we need here. Okay. Say, I want to get through here. Never. Only those who receive the ceremony can pass. What the heck is that ceremony? Speak to His Holiness. And where is His Holiness? I didn't ken where he is. Giving it all she's got, Captain.
This is where you give thanks to the sun and heavens. Uh, you're, that's not who I want to talk to. I'm sorry. I thought you were his holiness for some reason, even though you're obviously not. His holiness is over here. Holiness, hello. Hey, mister, are you the holy guy? Hi, I'm Father Dave. Yes, I am Mr. Holy Guy. What are you doing hanging around this hallway? Oh, a priest isn't much to worry about, you see. Yeah, yeah whatever. Look, we want to get past this village. <laughs> Tradition states that only those who undergo the ceremony can approach the sanctuary. So what the heck is that ceremony about anyway? Well, after a man and woman are blessed in holy union, they leave on a pilgrimage to the sanctuary. So, basically, it's a wedding. And a honeymoon, right? I don't know can your words, lad, but me thinks he understand. So we can go to the sanctuary if we undergo that ceremony, right? Oh, hey, Dagger. I yeah, so that's the deal. What do you think? If we get hitched, but there's no way to actually- Let's do it. What? So, you want to be joined, eh? The ceremony is only for doors. But we have so, fo so few young folk nowadays, we're down to 99 couples. I was worrying about that very thin. But what's the harm? Now we can have our 100th ceremony. Uh, Tedger, what's going on? I love how he's like, yeah, let's get married. And she's like, okay. And he's like, uh, the, the spirits of the mountain, spirits of the wood. Uh, how'd I get into this? Watch over this man and woman as they begin their journey. We gotta do this ceremony to get past the village. And only a guy and a girl can have the ceremony. Now, hold on a sec, Dagger. Don't you get it? This is marriage. M-A-R-R-I-A-G-G-E-R-I-A-G-E. -G -G -E. Marriage. No kidding, but we have to do it to go on, right? Yeah, but uh, th that's not reason enough. Oh, come on. It's li literally the only thing in the game that she's that cavalier about. Well, uh, I don't know. She's going to a different continent. And was willing to do it on her own without protection, so I guess maybe she is a little cavalier sometimes. What is she thinking? She's supposed to get angry and say no way. In sickness and in health. Of course, we're just trying to get past this village. Have the strength to carry through the trials. Could it be that she likes me? If you're marrying someone, I hope they like you. And the wisdom to follow the path. Gotta admit, it was pretty deep that night in Black Mage Village. Maybe that's why she fell for me? I'm such a stud. May the blessing of heaven be upon this man and woman. Dagger, now we're man and wife. Time for the kiss. Of course. Playing hard to get, eh? Can, could you, like, not step on the laptop, please? Uh, come on, come on, come on. Ouch. Happy fit. Now you need to announce your join into the twins at the other gate. What? You mean there's more? We have to follow tradition, lad. Oh, well, time for us newly buds to make the rounds, Dagger. Remember, we're only married while we're here. This is so fleeting. I don't think that's how marriage works. It ain't. What are we supposed to do? Well, I guess it kind of is because marriage is half just like the ceremony and then like a legal contract with the state. So technically, maybe. Hey, you, are you guys trying to ruin? Are you guys are trying to ruin our honeymoon? No, but you know, can just leave us here. Don't worry, I'll figure something out. Hmm. Let's see. Why don't you guys get married, too? What? Ah, that's it. In the meantime, Dagger and I can go announce our marriage. I mean, why not, right? Queen is... NB, I guess. Be the best 
or non-binary gender. I don't know. I have the strength to carry you through the, through the trials. I love they, that they're just like, uh, <laughs> and the wisdom to follow the path. That's to know heaven something this man and woman. I so happy. M me too. Thief. So, um, if you don't tell them to get married, they basically get through because of the thief being distracting. Oh. Uh, yeah, we did the ceremony. Rally ho, happy fit. Off to the sanctuary then, Ari. That's right. Can you let us through now? Rally ho, of course. Safe journey to both of ye. But let us be off, my darling. Safe! Huh? Mog, hurry! Kapo! Stop, thief! Stop, thief! She's important. I don't know. Let's go take a look. They got away. Ooch. And we cannot go any further. I think that that's uh, dwarf county pity for fuck. Does anyone live out there? Of course no. It's forbidden. Ooch. Young two thieves are always snitching food. Nobody lives out there because it's forbidden except for the two people who live out there and are stealing our food. Even though it's forbidden. Oh yeah? I'll catch him next time. Yeah, you gotta run faster, bud. Get ahead of them before they exit. Oh, hi, guys. So you've had your ceremony, right? Y yeah. Thief have nerve to steal food right in front of me. Okay, time to press on. Onward and upward, I guess. To the mountain. Hmm. Hey. Oh, I forgot to take some stuff off Quina. Koopa Popo! Hurry, Mog, before we get caught. Koopo? What's wrong, Mog? Koopo! Wait, don't leave me here! Stuck on a branch. Betrayed by my own trusted Moogle. Is this how I meet my end? Mog, I'm gonna haunt you if I die here. Oh, am I hallucinating? That person has no horn. Has a tail, though. Huh? Ah, uh, help! Don't eat me, I won't taste good. It's true, I taste awful. You heard her, Queena. I see. Too bad. But Moogle that ran away, very strange color. I go find and eat it. No, don't! Ah, gotcha. Thanks. Are you okay? Y yeah. You're not hurt? I told you I'm okay. I'm not a child like that kid in blue. But you don't look any older than me. Are you kidding? And I have a name, you know. I Eco. I go. I, I don't know how you're su uh, supposed to pronounce it. Eco. That's what I'm going to call her. Horned human. Right hand dominant. Name's Eco. You shouldn't shouldn't you introduce yourself before addressing a lady? You introduce yourself first. You got a problem. She's got attitude for sure. I'm Dagger and this is Vivi. Yeah? What about you? Me? I'm Zidane. Zidane, alright. So Miss Eco, why did you steal from the village? I was hungry. Ha <laughs> ha. You sound just like Queena. Hey, did they really go chasing after that Moogle? Oh no, they're gonna eat Mog. I don't think Queena would eat a Moogle. Do you live nearby, Eko? Yeah, be on this path. I'm sure Mog went home. Why don't we take her home? Yes, yes. Anything for my lovely wife. You two are married? Yep, we're newlywed. No, no, we're just friends. That's like another Star Trek. Yeah. Tuvok and Harry Kim. Are you guys friends? Yes, no. 
Well, I guess it's better than nothing. I want to be your friend, too. All right, then let's go to our new friend's house. And now, Eco is a member of my party. Uh, so, Eco is uh, similar to Dagger in that um, she does white magic and summons. Uh, but her summons are... She does different summons than Dagger. Um, and, like... Oh, I'm gonna remember this one. Um, Dagger is more focused on summon magic, whereas uh, Eco is more focused on Blue Stone and Seven Stone. Uh, Eco is more focused on white magic. Um, so I think Eco has a couple of white magic spells that Dagger cannot get, and um, Dagger has more summons, and also Eco's. Uh, trance ability is double white magic, so it's like BB's double black magic. She gets to cast two abilities in one go. Um, and Daggers is Eidolon, so her, it's just her summons, but it's they're more powerful. I think they, um, they automatically do their uh, cutscene thing, and when the, that happens, they, they do more damage. Probably not making that up. Uh, there should be a save. Let me go over here. And my cat's freaking out because the ice maker's going off. I have to end this part here anyway. Oh yeah, white magic is her primary thing. And maybe it's fair for the guy to be freaking out because the ice machine is making weird things. Uh, anyway, so... Heiko's summon... Well, I was gonna show you... the summon, but... Unfortunately... I done it too quickly. I meant, I guess, yes, yes, okay. So I will save here after doing this. Give Suzuna a letter. Thanks for delivering the mail from Mogmat. Mogmat just moved to a new village. I was worried about him, Kapo. It's been six months since I started living in County Petty. The food here is great and the people are very nice, Kapo. But, but, the one thing I can't use get used to is the Rally Ho. I keep saying Rally Kupo. Village life sounds hard, Kapo. Okay, so I'm gonna save here. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do any more episodes today. Maybe one more. Not sure. I'll think about it in the interim. Um, next episode is gonna be a lot of exposition. Like, uh, there, there's some interesting stuff, uh, but it's gonna focus heavily on Iko, Iko, whatever, however you pronounce it. Um. Yeah, there's plenty of good stuff here at Black Mage Village. It's fun, it's interesting, it's very plot-focused. I like it, I like it. Uh, thank you for watching this episode, and I will hopefully see you.